Today, we will be replacing some skies directly in Premiere Pro. Here are the examples. So I'll be showing you a couple different ways you can get these sky replacement shots. The first example is a sky that's completely blown out, or white. So what you're going to do, Alt, Drag, to duplicate the footage. Then you're going to go to Effects, Luma, Luma Key, and drag that onto the bottom one. I want you to turn off the top layer for now. Okay, now you're going to Effect Controls, turn the threshold down to zero, and now start bumping the cutoff up. Where the sky is not really there anymore, but you can still see the details in the buildings. So I'm going to go around 23. That looks good to me. And now I want you to turn your top layer back on, and what you're going to do you're going to go to Opacity. Let's make this about 25% so we can see the whole thing. We're going to go to Opacity. We're going to pick our Free Draw Bezier. And we're kind of going to draw a garbage mask where we don't want the key to occur. So here, here, across to here, down, and around. Perfect. I just feather that out slightly, not too much, just a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Now what I want you to do is drag those two clips up. And now you're going to get your sky. For this one, I'm going to use this sky picture right here. I got this from textures.com. Scale this up. And that looks pretty good to me. Okay, so now we got our sky in the shot, but it doesn't fit. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, the, the footage isn't color corrected. So what you're going to do is you're going to do effects. Lumetri color. So what we're going to do is drag the Lumetri color onto the bottom layer. Let's mute the top layer for now or turn it off, hide it. And we are going to play around with the basic correction until we get something that matches. So we're going to warm this scene up a bit. You can already see it's starting to match. Maybe throw the exposure down a little bit. It's a little too bright. Sunset's got some nice contrast to it. Bring the highlights back up. And OK. That's a good start. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take that Lumetri color, copy it, Put it on your top layer. Copy paste and show the top layer again. Now there's a couple more things you can do to really make this pop. Take your bottom layer and duplicate it on top there. What you're gonna do is delete the Luma key. I want you to take the opacity and mask some sides of the buildings that you think would have a little extra highlight on it. So that looks good to me. And one more over here. Let's make this a little smaller. Perfect. Let's go back to this Lumetri color and bump the exposure up. Not something crazy, maybe, you know, a half a stop or something like that. You don't want to go too crazy. And then 
feather these out so they blend back in. Great. Another thing you can do is keyframe the picture, move it over slightly, and get some movement on the background so it doesn't seem like a picture. Okay, excellent. Moving on to the next example. Now I'm just going to show you a sky replacement technique if you have a, you know, a flat horizon line that doesn't really get obscured by the subject in the shot. So we have this man walking through the desert. He never gets above the horizon line, so this is going to be pretty simple to do. You're going to click on the file under opacity. You are going to mask out these little humps right here. Really get as close as you can to a perfect mask. Now this doesn't look great. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to feather this out. Doesn't matter if you see a little bit of this horizon here, that's actually going to help us. Now you're going to drag this clip up and grab your and grab your sunset. Drag that on. Cut it to length. And scale it up. Now you're going to go back to your original clip. And we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to go to effects, Mumetri color, I already have it up. Drag it on top and basic correction. I need to add a little warmth into this shot. I need to add a little magenta. Drag the shadows down. I really want that long end of the day look. Okay, that looks pretty close. And maybe we'll mess with that a little more. And we'll go back to our clip and we will mess with our opacity a little bit. Drag it down. Maybe feather it a little bit less. Okay, that looks good to me. Let's play that through. I have a little problem here where the clip in the back is actually moving and our clip in the foreground is stationary. So there's two ways you can fix this. You can take a screen grab, of, you know, where you, you know, maybe somewhere like here where there aren't birds, just show that clip. Um, you can take a snapshot, you know, right, sunset and you can alt click and drag to replace the video with picture and we'll go back we'll uncheck that and now you just have the sunset picture so if you don't need the video you're probably better off using a screen cap to avoid the motion um, another way you could do it is you can add a warp stabilizer. That tends to work pretty well. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Please click like and subscribe if you did. I'm going to be creating a lot more of these and it really helps me out. So thank you and have a great day.